Hello all, welcome back to Excel skill. Today we learn how to use the EVO month function. EVO month function means end of month function. With this function, we can get the date of any given period for the next month and date or to the previous period month and date or to the current month date. I will show you one by one. Let us start. Give equals e po month. Open the parenthesis. Choose the date. I'm choosing 31st Jan. And I want next month end. So I will be giving one for the next. And if I want to go to the prayer period. Then I have to press the minus 1. Now I am going for the next month end date. So I am giving 1. Close the parenthesis. Give enter. See here 31st Jan. The next is 28th February 2021. The same way if I have to go to the next month. Open the parenthesis. Choose the date. Uh, this time I am choosing the August comma i want to go to the previous month so i'm pressing minus one like this you can press minus one minus two depending upon the situation if you want to go to the next or the previous three months you can press previous for previous three months you have to press minus three and for the next month of the following month of three months you have to press only three and for the current month, it is 0. So now, I am giving minus 1. Let us see what would be my result. It should be July 31st. See, I got the July 31st of 2021. So, likewise, I would be showing you the current month. I choose the date. Okay, now I am giving 0. So, I should be getting the current month end date. That is the closure of the August month date. Close parenthesis. Hit enter. See here. 31st August 2021. This will ideally help in your generating any invoice and you want to calculate the billing period. And this function is ideally fit for these kind of activities that's all for the day thank you for watching this video do subscribe